today we're gonna see how to level a fridge on two different aspects one with the door as you can see one door is lower than the other just to illustrate I put a couple of uh, toys here one is higher than the other and this is a LG fridge and also how to level it side by side you know when it comes to leveling left side the right side you need to adjust those uh, rollers on the bottom with the given nut you can see right here they're slightly off tilted towards the right so we'll handle all those scenarios and make sure the fridge is perfectly level and slightly tilted towards the back so that everything slides inward and the drawers don't come out the first step here is to take this plastic off it's just two screws one you can see here and then one down there so if you take those two screws off we'll have access to Both the screws are out and you can take this entire plastic off. Once you do that, it's a little dirty, you have access to the leveler and as you can see the roller is down here. When you move the fridge, you pull this up and the roller will make it go front and back. Now we need to adjust this. All we have to do is start cranking this in a way that it is level. Make sure you use a level like this on a flat surface. All we have to do is put a level like this and keep watching the bubble and we keep cranking here so that it is level or not. The bubble is moving to the left, which is good. We keep cranking. As you can see, a few turns, the bubble is pretty darn centered. And that's how you adjust one on this side and one on the other side. So make sure you balance it out so that we get a perfect center level on both sides. All right, now we get on to the door leveling as you can see one door here is higher than the other the adjustment for that is a little tricky because of how thin the nut is so as you can see down here there is a little bit uh, of a thin nut here from down here you can see the nut so that needs to be cranked so using a normal pliers you know there's no room for it to fit into that so you need to really find one of those bicycle wrenches or a pliers that is like thin enough that will get in there and be able to turn that particular nut. So it's a little tricky, a little at a time. And that pushes it up. As I crank here, you can see this thing coming up. The more I crank, the higher it goes, little by little. Patience. All right, LG stands for life is good, but it is completely <laughs> miserable at this point because what we realized is, you know, the adjuster wasn't enough to push the door up. So what we had to do here is add a couple of washers to increase the height. And that was the only way um, to get the door up. The reason the door is kind of sagging is because of the weight of the ice maker and everything. After five years, it started sagging. Now coming to how to insert a couple of washers here take these two bolts off and then it was a pain two people job hold up one person holds up the door and the other person has to figure out how to pull this down insert a couple extra and uh, push it up now we need to tighten everything and readjust and the doors will be in place right now everything is done you can see how well the doors are aligned which is really important because the top here uh, catches this area where it flips and it has to be a good catch you know, so as you can see down here it catches and flips so that is operating properly it is level top bottom sideways everything the main annoying thing was the adjustment they gave wasn't enough and as years went by this door started sagging this way and that is what the whole problem was had to push up and our solution is to put a couple of washes here extra on top of what there was already there and that fixed everything now that's how you do a complete leveling on a lg fridge on the other hand if you ever want to buy an lg fridge i say please don't go for something else like samsung or ge or whatever else you like it's been nothing but problem compressor problems ice maker problems leveling problems all this so there you have it i'll see you in the next video